What's up, YouTube? Got a yo-yo review today. Here it is. The review of the Monkey Finger Backstage Pass. So, Monkey Finger Backstage Pass. If you have been watching this channel, you know that I opened this up because opening Monkey Finger yo-yos makes me excited, and I like to capture that on camera. But it's time to get down to the brass tacks, down to the nitty gritty and the specs and how it plays so you know whether or not you want to buy this yo-yo. Now, this drops on Yo-Yo Expert uh, tomorrow, well today as you're watching this, uh, Friday, uh, Friday the 16th. Uh, it'll drop at 9 p.m. on Yo-Yo Expert. I'm not sure if it drops uh, on, it might drop on Saturday on the Monkey Finger store, but you have to check. I'll put links in the description and stuff. Um, things, it definitely drops on Yo-Yo Expert tomorrow, uh, including this gorgeous colorway here. But before we get into all of that stuff, let's talk about the specs. The diameter of this yo-yo is 55 millimeters. The width is 43.63 millimeters. The gap width is 4.5 millimeters, which is very standard. Uh, weighs in a, a nice and light 64.03 grams. Uh, st standard size C bearing with the monkey finger tornado bearing, very good stuff. Uh, monkey snot flowable silicone, 6061 alumina, aluminum, designed in Canada, made in Canada, anodized by Ray, the man himself. And uh, it's releasing today. So yins are going to want to get one. So what's up with monkey finger? Why is this such a big deal? Why do I make such a big deal about them when I get them? One, because they're super collectible yo-yos, right? So uh, they probably won't do these colorways again on this yo-yo. If this yo-yo ever gets another run, maybe it will. Uh, monkey finger's a very small team. Uh, they're all anodized by the same guy. Uh, these aren't yo-yos that are like, you know, mass produced and anodized. And it's, it, Ray has to do these every single one of them. And, uh, you know, he's, he's honed his skills to a degree now where uh, he gets through them a little quicker now than he used to be able to. Um, but still, they just look so good. But every one of them kind of looks a little different and uh, it just ends up being, being its own unique thing. Uh, highly collectible. These will sell out. I assure you they will sell out and they will sell out quickly. If you do not act fast enough, if you want one, you will not get one. Uh, or you will pay high markups after the fact. Uh, this one actually uh, was a design by comedian and magician uh, Nick, and I'm gonna misspell, I'm gonna mispronounce his last name. Nick, I'm sorry if you're watching. Uh, Defate, Nick Def Defate. Anyway, Nick uh, is a comedian and magician. He's been on the Tonight Show, uh, but he also plays yo-yo, and uh, he would play yo-yo, throw yo-yo around in the back, and uh, you know while he was warming up for his set or getting you know ready just to get the jitters out. Um, he actually tried his hand at designing a yo-yo, uh, and Monkey Finger helped with the design. Uh, they tweaked it a bit, and here it is. Uh, it's a very organic yo-yo. Uh, it's got all of those fun organic shapes. It's for throwing around backstage, hence backstage pass, um, and just chilling with uh, prior to going on and doing your set. It's a relaxation type yo-yo. It's a very relaxing yo-yo to play. I think they really, really nailed that. Uh, most Monkey Finger yo-yos aren't necessarily, I would say, super competition spec. Some of them are plenty good for competition. Uh, this one is certainly more on the organic chill side. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not stable or long spinning or anything like that. It's a very good yo-yo. Uh, very nicely organic bell-shaped, I would say. Uh, obviously, you know, the best anodization in the game. Uh, this I really like this one a lot. But there's a lot of good colors. I was kind of torn between a few of them. Um, but this one, this one really caught my eye. The black with the purple. Really, really, really good. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea of size, here it is next to uh, the Lunar Eclipse, which is the... the the one drop eclipse the 6061 version i think it's got some tweaks but similar in diameter i don't think it's quite as well now it's just about as wide so you know deceptively you know a full-size yo-yo maybe not deceptively but definitely a full-size yo-yo uh but more on the chill side very calm uh i've really been enjoying it i've been throwing it around a lot uh been in a lot of meetings lately where i don't have to talk but i have to listen and i feel like this really helps that um so i've been throwing this yo-yo a lot Got a, got a zipline string highlighter on here. That's how we judge all the yo-yos. We've got to put on a zipline string plus highlighter. looks really good on camera. You can see where my string is. And sometimes I don't do that right. But this time I will because this is a special yo-yo. But it does come with the matching monkey finger yo-yo, which I used out uh, when I got this. And I did I showed you in the... But this is this is how we, we show the yo-yos in the review with the zipline strings. Um, but anyway, let's go throw it around. Show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. The... Backstage pass. 
Uh, you'll notice on throw, uh, it is nice and light. Very chill. Nice long spinner. Easily controllable. A good weight distribution. It's very sort of even. It's not too much power, not too much center. Uh, really just kind of a little bit everything. Uh, not much of a speed demon. It doesn't really want to go fast, uh, but that's fine. Very comfortable shape to throw. And uh, the snot, the snot, monkey snot response is just it's tremendous. Very controllable. Hits gaps you want it to hit. Good size for the old chopsticks. Uh, as far as grind finish is concerned, it's really nice. It's basically the same as all other 6061 monkey fingers. Just nice, blasted. Regen's great too. It's really nice. Big, big lip to catch your thumb grinds. So. Super easy peasy there. Nice reliable response. As far as uh, finger spins are concerned, not gonna be the best, but you can probably ride around the outside there. There's a lot going on in the center. Yeah. Got around the outside, but then I wrapped the string around my finger because I don't do finger spins in my day-to-day yo-yo -day play. But, try one more time. Nah, not really a great finger spin yo yo. A lot to get in the way. Um, but, like I said, I don't really play yo yo to play finger spins. So, there's that. Glorious. Um, really just a blast to play. It feel I can't describe, it feels very buttery smooth. And just has like its own sort of chillness to it. Uh, as far as buttery smooth though is concerned, this thing is laser beam. It's perfect. There's not a hint of vibe. It is perfection. Uh, this is this is like NASA levels of perfection here. I just like playing monkey finger yo-yos. They got their own like special feel to them, and this is just this is super special, super duper special. Let's go ahead and take it apart. I'll show you guys what's on the inside. All right, let us take her apart. The backstage pass. I really like the pictures they have up on Yo-Yo Expert. Andre, I'm real sorry if I steal the one with the smoky. You'll know which one I steal if I steal it. But it's really good. It's better than a picture I could take. So, hey. I want to put your link in the description. Anyway, so we got the monkey finger bearing here. It spins great. It's uh, it just it spins good. It's a good yeah, It's a good bearing. Uh, not very loud. Nice and quiet. And uh, global silicone monkey snot. So what Ray does is he anodizes all of these, and and after they go through, and then he tapes them off. As you can see, see where it's shiny there. That's so that little lip there doesn't cut your string. Uh, as you can see, it's ever so slightly rounded over, which is makes it just so perfect coming off of the string. And the sort of shininess there, uh, where it's taped off, kind of helps facilitate that. It's just a nice, smooth release when the yo-yo bounces off the string. So it's really, really just... The attention to detail is very important there. Uh, the recessed monkey snot is absolutely perfect. Uh, especially with the, with the, the standard... Zipline strings, absolutely perfect, and great with the string it comes with as well, but, you know, you, you use the, the monkey finger strings or the zipline strings, they're about the same thickness and, and weight, so they, it'll work just perfectly. Um, I really like what's going on here in the center there, you got the, like, little divot there and the little nipple, and there's, like, kind of a big, like, button thing in the middle there. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of cuts and grooves and stuff there. Um... Lots going on here in the rim, too. There's like a little cut under there, and there's a lip for you to catch your thumb for the thumb grinds, and it's all anodized even under here so that it doesn't feel weirdly shiny. Uh, I wouldn't like that. That would certainly be a thing that I would feel, and I would be like, ugh. Uh, but no, not like that at all. Um, 
cool lip here that's got a purple splash around the edge. That looks real good. Um, honestly, I can't find a bad thing to say about it. Um, so we're just going to talk about what you would want a monkey finger for as opposed to, say, a yo-yo factory and why you would pay $95 for this as opposed to $50 for a yo-yo factory or something. First of all, you'd be supporting one of the guys who supports this channel and who supports yo-yo contests all over the world. Not just, he's, in, he's, a, he's in Canada, but he supports East Coast Masters. He supports um, co uh, stuff out west. Uh, he supports stuff in Canada. I mean, he like Monkey Finger Ray is literally one of those guys who just is he does he does the yo-yo for the love of the yo-yo and the love of anodizing and doing fun designs and doing art and stuff. And then he just gives back to the community. And I, I can't say enough good things about that. Uh, every one of these is a piece of art. Uh, these are highly collectible. These are collectible pieces. Uh, they're not they're never huge runs because uh, Ray has to do every one of these individually. So. There are tons of collectors who are literally going to be like, yeah, give me one of every color. Boop, 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 and five gone. Boom. Like that. And they'll put one of every color and that's how that goes. These are highly collectible. They display beautifully on a shelf as well as they play beautifully anywhere you want to play them. Um, it's really kind of the luxury car of the yo-yo community. It's, it's really excellent. It's a little bit extra excellent than everything else. And... Um, not every, but you know, you you get what I'm saying. It's 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 a little more. The unboxing, there's magnets in the box. It's luxurious. Everything comes out just ever so beautifully displayed. You get what you pay for. Um, you know, these are hand anodized. These are done by one guy. Uh, you know, well, he has a machine shop machine them, but yeah, he he anodizes it all. gets it blasted, and it's he does all the flowable silicone himself. It's really one of those things where, you know, this is this is sort of like the the lifeblood of what the yo-yo community is, because, yeah, I mean, look, I love, uh, you know, all of the other, you know, yo-yo manufacturers as well, Duncan's are great, yo-yo factories are great, all that stuff's very good, but there's a few select uh, creators of, of yo-yo stuff um, that really, really just is, to me, special, very, very special, uh, and Monkey Finger's one of them, and I think this is probably, this might be my favorite one. Between this and the Aotus, I don't know, it's really hard to say. They keep getting better, too. That's the other thing, is that, like, they were always cool, but, like, they, they've been getting better and better playing and better just feeling and better overall, uh, especially the last few. And this one's no exception. Uh, really digging it a lot, and um, I hope you guys check it out, too. Uh, I'm sure they'll be gone by Monday, but uh, make sure you check them out. Links are down in the description. Thanks so much to Monkey Finger Ray, and thanks to Monkey Finger for uh, sending this out. Uh, I love these. I love it. It's, it's awesome. And uh, I appreciate everybody watching, but uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you. I'll see you next. Wait, 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 hold on. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.